Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. So today I'm excited to share 10, I think it's gonna be 10, fingers crossed it's gonna be 10, 10 summer to autumn transitional outfits with you guys. I'm really excited about this one. Summer and autumn are two of my favorite seasons. And when you get to like mash the clothing that you wear in each of them together, I just love that. Like I love sweaters and shorts, that kind of like combination. So yeah, very excited to basically mix all of my jackets with all of my dresses and cycling shorts. I'm gonna be so sad when winter comes around. So that is what I'm gonna be showing you today. I really hope you guys enjoy it. This is also my first styling video with the new hair. So fingers crossed this goes okay. And I don't have an absolute wardrobe crisis. So you are about to see a lot of items that you may have already seen before. This dress is definitely one of them, which I've worn so much over the summer. So some things might have quite low stock levels. So what I will do is pop similar items in the info box below. So just click see more and it will drop down for you. I'm excited to mix some of my favorite older pieces with some newer pieces that I picked up for autumn as well. I'm gonna stop rambling now and let's try on 10 summer to autumn transitional outfits. My God, that is a mouthful, let's do it. So starting with outfit number one, I thought I'd wear the dress that I was already wearing. Lots of you will know this was one of my favorite dresses over the summer, I love it so much. I know that this will be a piece that I keep in my wardrobe for a very long time, although I have already, I'm not wearing a bra with it by the way, so sorry, it's kind of a bit see-through, but I've got to change into a lot of outfits and let me tell you, it's a lot. I did actually snag it and it was really sad because I didn't get to pick up a replacement of this before all of you bought it, so thanks guys. But don't have your dogs anywhere near this dress, especially if they're quite like, yeah, because Nala is. And uh, that was how this tragedy happened. But anyway, I'm pairing it with my Zara leather jacket. This is a like full length, kind of like regular length leather jacket. It looks a little bit oversized on me, but because my body is like a little bit shorter than average. This hair and collars just doesn't really I feel like winter is gonna be me having my hair up uh, a fair bit. But yes, yeah, so this is one of the regular kind of TRF Zara leather jackets. I love them. From memory, they're fairly affordable for a leather jacket. I don't think they're a real, I think they're a faux leather, but I love this one. I have it in a size medium. I do have a small, I have, I think the color is Ecru. I have an Ecru one in a small and I actually regret getting it in a small. I feel like they're better if they're just that little bit more oversized. So yeah, that is the jacket that I would pair with this and with most midi dresses throughout the autumn. And then I've also just paired my black sliders with this outfit as well. I have a cutaway, by the way, if you haven't seen it already where I put the coat on properly. It hasn't been that hot of a summer that I've forgotten how to wear a coat. But anyway, I've also paired it with my Givenchy black croc bag. I really like the added texture it gives to this outfit and it pairs really nicely with all of the black items that I have paired with the green dress. I do have a little bit of like gold and silver clashing here but i don't really mind because your bag is kind of like down here so no one really notices but yeah these two pair really really nicely together and i love the fact that they're like different types of leather basically so that is outfit number one my first summer to autumn transitional outfit and this jacket is driving me mad i remember why this jacket <laughs> drives me so crazy now i think i normally actually like put something on here to stop it like jingling because it drives me crazy. Let me know which outfit is your favorite by the way in the comments, I wanna know. Sorry, it's me again, I'm back in the green dress. I forgot to show you. Well, one of my favorite ways that I would style this dress is actually with my mango chunky knit, really long like oversized cardigan. I love the look of this. This is actually how I wore this throughout the summer, but it also works really well during the winter as well because this cardigan or any like knitted cardigan is so snuggly. And if you get a bit hot, you can kind of like wear it off shoulder and it just like lets a little bit of the heat out, but you can also kind of wrap yourself up super warm in it. And the khaki color works really, really nicely with the cardigan as well, but any midi dress color would work really well, I think, because the leather jacket and the cardigan are such neutral pieces. So I have my H&M tan midi dress, which I would definitely wear with this and with the leather jacket. With the leather jacket, I think it makes it look a little bit more dressy. Definitely get away with them for like a dinner type situation if it's a bit more cash. And I also have my mango knitted, like ribbed, midi dress as well, which would work really beautifully with this. I wear it all the time. And that's another great alternative as well, which also works with the leather jacket. So you've got a couple of options there. And I just think midi dresses are the most versatile pieces to have in your wardrobe for both summer and autumn and spring and winter and everything in between. So yeah, I will show you actually, as we get into winter, how I will style my midi dresses in the winter because they're such a staple piece in my wardrobe now. They really have become like a key piece. I feel like over the past year or so, and I really love wearing them all year round. So 
yeah, I will kind of show you that as we move into winter. So outfit number two is definitely one for the warmer kind of summer to autumn days, but it's definitely one that uses pieces that I feel like we all have similar items to in our wardrobe. The main item being denim shorts. Denim shorts kind of are one of those items that get a lot of love during the summer months and then not any other time of the year, but you can actually kind of get away with them working into autumn on the warmer days. I've just paired mine with a white body from Zara. These bodies are great. I think it's been over a year now since these like boomed and I'm still wearing them still loving them they're just like a staple piece in my wardrobe they're so great and then I've also paired <laughs> the shorts are from Zara the body is from Zara and then I've also paired it with a Zara brown blazer this was actually part of a two set that I bought I think last year but it works really beautifully aside from the two set the two set was very smart some very like tailored shorts was it shorts or was it skirt I guess shorts that look like a skirt maybe. I don't really wear those very often, but I wear the blazer all the time. It's got a little bit of like padding in the shoulders, a little bit of structure, no collar, which I think makes it slightly less formal just ever so slightly. I paired it with a brown belt just to tie in the browns. I've also gone for a black bag, but I feel like something white or nude would actually work really, really well with this. And then I've just paired it with my Gucci trainers as well. Any pair of trainers that you have in your wardrobe, I could definitely pair this with my white Nikes. What you can also do is if it's a little bit chillier, but you still want to have your legs out and you still want to get the wear out of your shorts, I would throw a hoodie on, maybe like tuck it in to the shorts and have that poking out the top of your blazer. I think it's still a really cool look and it looks dressed up but casual at the same time. It's a really nice look and you're also covered if it gets a little bit like drizzly and you want to like cover your head. So yeah, maybe like a light coloured, maybe a white hoodie would look really cute under this or like a neutral hoodie basically any kind of neutral color i think would work really really well under a tan blazer or even a black blazer whatever blazer you have in your wardrobe i feel like with the body and denim shorts it works really really well yeah that is outfit number two you can also pair this so easily with cycle shorts so i'll show you what that looks like in a second this isn't my preferred blazer for this video i'm gonna pair another one with cycle shorts in a little bit and it's like my fave look at the moment yeah but this is the main bulk of outfit number one number two number two. Oh my god so this is what it looks like with the cycle shorts just to give you an idea i just love cycle shorts if you're new to my channel and you haven't met me before hi i'm susie and i love cycle shorts they are definitely one of my favorite items for transitional seasons you can just pair so much with them they're so easy to wear so comfy and anything that i can get away with being comfortable in but also wearing to like a low-key casual meeting i am a fan of so for outfit number three i am wearing my zara ruched t-shirt dress it has this like ruching along the thigh so this dress is great because no matter what height you are you can bring it up or down to your height and I love that. I also love like how kind of ruched you can make it around here and like I always find that that really helps to hide bloating as well if you're like not feeling 100%. I really love the color. It's this lovely like burnt orangey tan kind of color which is just so autumnal. It's an absolute gem in your wardrobe for both autumn and the summer months as well and like the spring months although it's not the most springy color. It works so so well in the summer with just like a pair of trainers on its own. It's gorgeous. I've got a tan backpack which works particularly well with it. You could just wear the backpack, your trainers or sandals. My tan sandals also work beautifully. Basically anything tan is a completely monochrome look. Looks amazing. So what I've done is I've switched out my sandals for my trainers and then just thrown on a cardigan as well. I tried to keep both the cardigan and my trainers like a similar in like tone as possible and then i've just kept the same bag and i like the cardigan with the dress in the bag so i feel like the bag adds like a soft kind of bow when we touch and the cardigan also does that whereas if you take them off you've got an outfit that's a little bit more almost like sports luxy but the ruching on the side can like make it go either way if that makes sense yes yeah, basically the perfect summer to autumn transitional dress zara did a great job with this one so that is outfit number what number are we on now? I don't even know. Outfit number three. I feel like we're actually going to be on like 20 outfits with all of the variations, so who knows? The base of this next outfit is one of my favourites, which I've worn so much over the past few weeks. I actually picked this set up at the end of August or like mid-August, I want to say, and I've worn it so, so much that I've actually picked up the cycling shorts 
twice. I love the base of this outfit and I think it works so well all year round. Like if you're just at home and you don't really need to have like too much clothing on, you know, you're, you're snug. It works with spring outfits. It will work like this in the summer if you've got a slightly cooler day where you can get away with like something this tight and this like dark in color but it also works really really well for autumn cycling shorts in general work so well if you watched past like transitional outfit videos you will have seen that i love like a black blazer and cycling shorts kind of outfit you can belt it if you want you can just button it you can leave it oversized i just live for i feel like i've probably said this in like several videos i've bulk filmed a lot and i've talked about autumn fashion a lot recently i've probably said this about a thousand times but i love a cycling shorts and blazer combo so that is what we are getting into right now please hold master fetch blazer number one i also have realized that i messed up my hair today and we're going to ignore it because i'm not reheating my hair again because it will fall out so this outfit is one i actually planned out before i have my hair cut and i think it worked slightly better before i had it all chopped off but i feel like with a little low bun slash pony this would work a little bit better i think i look a bit too like businesswoman in the 90s um with this outfit combo and my hair like this but we'll just we'll just roll with it i've got my zara short sleeved khaki blazer on which is so cute it works really nicely as like a dress in the summer and then i've obviously paired it with the bodysuit and cycling shorts underneath i've got my black sliders on with it as well. I don't know if you can see the relaxed sliders. I am so blind, I cannot see the viewfinder right now. So I'm just working with this. Um, but yeah, I paired it with my black sliders. This is more of the summery end of the summer to autumn transitional outfits. But I feel like sliders work really well for that. These in particular, because they are almost like a, they're like sturdy on the bottom, almost like a plasticky, acrylic key material. And then not an acrylic, because that would be so uncomfortable. Like a plasticky material, and then they're like a jelly over the kind of bulk of the foot. And that works really well for you get caught in like the rain you aren't gonna ruin these shoes these shoes will be in my wardrobe forever i love them so much and they work particularly well for transitional season dressing where you're not really sure what the weather is i've also had it with my crop bag again but yeah this is a really nice little blazer that you could wear under other blazers if you wanted to that's not really my thing but it's definitely a thing but yeah it's very cute like i said i would just turn my hair up because it's a little bit too superman for me right now but yeah the blazer and the cycle shorts are so cute and the whole look works really well with trainers as well especially like a big chunky kind of like 90s pair of trainer i just love that trainer singular hmm. but yeah you can also wear it open as well which is kind of one of my preferred ways but it's definitely a bit more of a summery nod to the look but my favorite blazer cycling shorts look of all is coming next prepare yourselves you will have seen this item already if you've watched a lot of my videos recently so this blazer is another zara number it is i think my favorite blazer that i own at the moment i love how long the lapels are on it is it lapels i'm gonna run with that lapels collar i love how long it runs until you get to the buttons that are kind of like lower down it's got nice big pockets which are essential for me it's a gorgeous cream color that isn't like a yellow cream which i often find you can get a lot with zara and it's just not my fave yeah it's just really simple i love the two like dark buttons and i think that helps it tie really really nicely with the black coal that i've got on underneath and i've also paired it with my chunky nike trainers just to balance out my silhouette a little bit i find that if i'm wearing a big chunky blazer on the top with like shoulder pads and this has quite heavy shoulder padding that i want to like make my feet look a little bit more chunky to basically balance out my shape and i also love a chunky trainer because it makes your legs look really really slim as well and having a chunky blazer on your top half also will also help do that to your legs as well and the blazer also adds a little bit of warmth which is great as well i just really love this outfit so cute very smart but you can instantly just like have a hoodie kind of in your bag and take it off and throw that on if you're going from like meetings or work somewhere more casual i love that and you can put a hoodie on under this as well if you want an extra layer of warmth so you can really tailor this to your climate and you can also pick a blazer that is maybe a little bit thinner this one is quite thick which i love going from summer into winter because it just means that i get the most wear out of them like the most wear possible and i love that but yeah i just i really love this look and you could also if you're that way inclined you could pair this with a little heel as well a little heel maybe like a white kind of like strappy low kind of thing i would dig my heels out but they are very very heavily stacked away somewhere in the room of doom because um i just knew i wasn't going to need them this summer so they are like one of the boxes 
right at the back but yeah a little 90s strappy sandal in black or a white would look really really cute with this outfit and a little clutch as well so this could actually take you with different items in the mix could take you from something very casual to something kind of formal to something a little bit more dressy a really great staple outfit i think to have in your wardrobe if this is your vibe if you like like a sports luxe vibe this is definitely a great base and a great kind of piece to have in your wardrobe so you know it's not a Susie autumn outfit video unless i deliver you some leather trouser goodness so this pair are a new pair of mine they are from zara they're like a croc effect kind of leather which is something i don't have in my wardrobe and i was like do you know what with like a white tee this is really nice and simple and the trousers are the statement and they speak for themselves however with like something that is maybe more tan, like a tan kind of knit. Those two pieces would make like the ultimate autumnal outfit. So yeah, I knew these had to be a key piece in my autumn winter wardrobe this season. And luckily they are kind of a little bit thinner than a lot of leather joggers and stuff like that that I have because otherwise I would not be able to wear them until it is like fully, fully autumn. It's still quite warm down south when the sun comes out at the moment. So if we have a sunny day, it's more like a summer day than an autumnal day. So these at the moment are strictly a like wear only when it's like raining or very, very, very cloudy kind of item because otherwise we're gonna have a Ross Geller situation on our hands, people. But yeah, I love these. They're not too long. I do have to roll them up, but they have a raw cut edge. So I'm actually deliberating whether to buy another pair and experiment and see if I can just cut them with scissors because then I'd be able to cut them to my perfect length. I've got a mirror over here, by the way, in case anyone wonders why I look this way. So I might be able to cut them to my perfect length, but I'm a bit scared because I think I need a very sharp pair of scissors. I don't know, I'm thinking about it. If anyone has any great suggestions, let me know in the comments. But yeah, they are actually much shorter for a Zara trouser, which I love. And they're also like tight in the right places, which is something that I really love about them. I have a baggy pair of trousers from Zara, which some of you might remember from last autumn winter. And I love them, but they are just that little bit long and I have to wear them with heels to kind of balance out my silhouette. And you know, if I was taller, they would just look incredible but they are just like that little bit not quite right they're like that mom leather trouser style if that makes sense and these are similar i think they're maybe probably meant to be a bit more skinny and like cigarette cut but i think i got them in a medium i will double check so they have a little bit more room on the leg in kind of mom jeans cigarette trouser style that kind of thing but they're tight around my waist which is so perfect and tight around my bum as well which is great too so i paired these with my black sliders again the black sliders and white trainers i would say are absolute summer to autumn transitional staples the sliders in particular obviously work really really well with these trousers and i paired it with a zara t-shirt as well which is like a v-neck style feel like I might have sized up in this. I will let you guys know. I tend to opt for Zara Basics in a size up just to allow for a little bit more slouch. And I just love this t-shirt. You can kind of wear it lower down if you want, or you can wear it kind of like higher up and have a little shoulder. But the relaxed fit of this works really, really well with the more tight fit of the trousers and the fact that these are like a croc um, material as well. It just means that the t-shirt lets the trousers kind of speak for themselves, if that makes sense. And for bags, I would probably pair it with my Givenchy Antigona in the small. I have the mini, which is my croc one, which I definitely wouldn't do with this outfit because obviously we've got the croc on the trousers. I definitely think that would be too much, but I love the shiny leather of this bag and I think it pairs really, really well with the trousers. So you could go for a black leather bag. You could go for a white leather. I think that would look amazing. And also like a tan or a nude will work really, really well with this neutral outfit as well. Case in point, this obviously isn't the perfect bag to go with it, but I do think the brown tones actually work a little bit better. So I'd say a brown kind of nude color. I think a nude would probably work the best or a white. Go with the white t-shirt. I think white is ideal. And because this outfit involves like leather trousers and they are a very, very warm item of clothing at this time of year, I actually would keep this outfit to a t-shirt and sliders kind of combo and I wouldn't worry too much about a jacket as such at this point in our like summer to autumn transition but as we're going more towards October I would say like a trench coat would work really really well with this either in a black or some kind of neutral I think that's the best way to roll with this maybe a, I think you could get away with a, like a khaki or a tan too I would definitely say a trench coat is the best option it's my favorite way to style leather trousers and like t-shirts and knits and things like that denim jackets I think just add a little bit too much texture and a leather jacket on top of this for me personally is just too much so i would keep it at something that has like literally zero texture to it something very 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 plain as things get a little bit colder you could go for a shearling but we'll talk about that 
when it comes to autumn to winter transitions. So I definitely thought I was done with the crazy croc trousers, but it turns out I'm not. This top arrived from Zara earlier in the week. I picked it up in white, nude, and black. The nude is such a gorgeous color. It's almost like a sandy kind of tone. Does anyone remember Essie Saint Tropez nail polish? Because it literally reminds me of that. That was such a great color. It's been six years and I still have an encyclopedic knowledge of all of the Essie <laughs> nail polish shades. But anyway, I love the fit of these. They feel so nice. They're very lightweight. That perfect summer to autumn transitional item. I feel like Zara are literally like, they know they're good at summer to autumn transitional dressing and they are just like, going for it at the moment and they are nailing it. So I was actually gonna pair this with a pair of jeans, which I will show you next. But first I thought I'd show you the top with the crop trousers, seeing as I was just kind of changing out of them. I just love this combo. I think I might like it more than the white t-shirt and crop trousers combination. I mean, they're very different vibes. This is definitely slightly more dressy. I could see me pairing this with a heel and then maybe like a cute little nude clutch bag for more special occasions. I think that would be so, so cute. But like I'm wearing at the moment, I've just paired it with my black sliders and it works as like a nice, like everyday outfit where you want to feel nice, but it's everyday, you know? This with like my mango duster coat over the top, I feel like it'd be really cute. Especially if I was wearing the black one of this, cause it would just make everything that I'm wearing underneath a bit more monotoned. But whilst it's still a little bit warmer, these items just pair together so well on their own. And I really, really love this outfit so yeah that is uh off the shoulder top outfit number one and finally i thought i'd leave you with something that's a little bit smart cash just in case some of you have a life i don't I'm just at home. But just in case some of you are going places and you want a little bit of inspo for like dinners or anything like that, this outfit I love and I feel like it's the perfect summer to autumn transitional like smart casual outfit. I'm hoping I fit on your screens okay. But yeah, I've got the Zara off the shoulder top and I paired it with my new in mom jeans. For those of you that don't know, new in are a new retailer and they have kind of a few brands on their website but they also have like their new in brand and they have a focus on like sustainability and i really really love their stuff like, disclaimer i work with them on my instagram but this is just me wearing these jeans because i literally wear these jeans all the time and i live for them they are the nicest fit they're such a nice mom jean style in a very classic mom jean where it's like tighter at the waist and then completely like baggy on the leg i just i love them so much they are so great if you have more of a curvy figure these jeans because they are so much baggier around your bum and leg and then they actually fit me well on the waist like i can take this belt off and it's pretty much like exactly the same so yeah the belt just kind of like pulls me in by like a fraction but they have like such a small waist to leg ratio which i think is so nice and so flattering whether your body is built that way or not i just think it looks so nice whether you really like need that fit or not but for me it's just so nice to buy a pair of mom jeans and not have to like size up a ton so that i can put like a belt around my waist and have the legs baggier because normally the legs are like so tight on me with mom jeans obviously every pair is built differently and i totally get that so some mom jeans are made to be more slimline topshop premium mom jeans i know they are literally like made to be more of a thick fabric and more of a tighter fit and i really really do love them they are great this is like a nice alternative for when i actually want a proper like baggy fit mom jean but it still fits me at the waist i just live for these so anyway that is my whole like love letter to the new with mom jeans i will link them in the info box below if any of you want to check them out because i feel like i don't scream about you in too much on my channel because i'm kind of like i get scared of like over shouting about brands but i obviously like talk about zara in like every single video so um i'm just going for it i love these jeans and i think you should check them out if you have kind of similar issues to me when buying jeans and yeah that's it i just feel like i hadn't talked about these jeans before so i wanted to give a little rave about them but i've actually paired them with a pair of like flip flop low heels which i actually found in like a bag box in my room that's like in the room of doom that's like at the front of the room and this is like the only pair of summery little heels that i have and they just happen to go with this outfit and i think it makes a really nice dressy but casual little outfit and i really like that i have one more outfit which is literally like my ultimate summer to autumn transitional everyday outfit at the moment which i am really excited to show you and it's basic AF, but I love it. So for my final outfit, this is me living my ultimate basic girl best life. So we have a sage crop from Pretty Little Thing, which is actually part of a set. I live for the set, but the top is also so great on its own. It has like a 
kind of drawstring and like pulley bit which you can secure underneath and then like tuck so you can get that perfect kind of like fold over and I really really love that you get that fold over without having to tuck which is amazing because I hate it when you have to tuck and then you get like a little kind of bulge in your like trousers or your uh, cycle shorts or leggings or whatever I will end up wearing this like over my gym stuff to the gym so much over the winter i just know it but it looks so great in the meantime as well with my zara rigged cycle shorts i obviously just love these cycle shorts and i love this jumper and they are like the perfect pairing together i paired them with my gucci trainers and then my Givenchy croc bag i would probably maybe switch this up at some point i think this could look really nice with a white bag as well maybe something that's also like a little bit sagey colored could be really cute we'll see we'll see if i find anything that matches this that is really really cute but yeah i just love this outfit so much yeah this has been my go-to lately and yeah it's probably going to be my go-to for like everyday running errands when i don't really want to think about my outfit up until we kind of get into october and things start to get a little bit chillier so i think that is it for my like ultimate summer to autumn transitional outfits video i love doing these every year so i hope you guys really really enjoyed it as well let me know what your favorite was like i said in the comments below i'd love to know and all of those will be in the info box for you as well but yeah thank you so much for watching if you're new please subscribe i would love to have you back for more videos where is the subscribe i can't remember which side the subscribe goes i hope you're all having the best day and i'll see you guys again very very soon bye